hello and welcome back to Mills Town. This is part three of our look around. In this part, well in part three, this last part we're going to look to just bring in the rest of the harvest, bring it into the shed and then we'll start on another field, harvesting another field. In the meantime we'll deliver I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to to, to deliver, well, to load a, a couple of products onto the train here at the farm, take them down to the transfer point, offload them there, and then we will um, transfer it around the map with the train, um, just to give us a feel for how the train works. So let's first of all finish off we have finished off the first field that we were harvesting we're going to bring in the crop from there there we go let's go and bring that in and then we'll take the harvester over to field six and we'll get it started there it's a slightly odd shaped field so we might put that onto course play. In fact it's probably we'll put that onto course play. So what have we got here? 21,000 litres of canola. Let's get that loaded into the silo here. There we go. There's a tip. Okay, yeah, no problem. By the looks of things, is it gonna? Whoops! Did empty it, so that's good. So let's leave that there for now. Let's get back into the harvester, and we want to go down to field six. Right, so we've hooked up the trailer. The header, put it onto the header trailer, and we're on our way to field six. Get that done. And then we'll get back to you. Oops. Right, we're at field six. So let's get this going and then we can go and have a look at that train system. So we'll unfold that. We'll just get onto the field and then. This is. I wonder if this will enable straw swath it. It's not. Okay, so let's get it onto course play. Create a job. Oh, we haven't got course play enabled, so let's just do headland quickly and then. We'll set it off. We'll catch you once it's done. Right, so let's get going on selling to the... We're selling some of our crop that we have. And we're going to sell it by train. So the first one we're going to sell is we're going to sell... Let's just go into here. We're going to sell sorghum to Somerset. And we're going to sell oats to Somerset. So to do that, we're going to load the train up here. We're going to offload at the transfer station, and then we're going to get the transfer it over to the to the other train, and we'll deliver that to Somerset, and that'll show us how the train system works. So let's first of all go and summon the train. So we'll summon the train. Going to take a little bit of time. In the meantime, we'll get this sorted out. So we're going to enter this vehicle. The and it's a bit of a dip here. So let's get this onto level ground. Uh, 
that should do. Hopefully the train will be able to get underneath it. Well, let's keep it back from the line first. Then we, while we're waiting for the train, we'll go and fill up a trailer with either oats or sorghum. And have it ready to put onto the train. It's probably going to be more than one load of each. So let's just get around and we'll go through from the correct side. So we're facing down and we can see if the train arrives while we're loading. Try to get an overview and it got stuck behind the trees there. So start filling and wheat we don't want barley we don't oats so let's do oats first. So we haven't harvested oats, this was part of the starting stock. Which as I mentioned in the last episode is very generous. So yeah, that's the full load of oats, so we'll take that down and we'll have it ready for when the train arrives. Yeah, the train is just about arriving, so that's pretty good timing, really. Right, let's get this out. Right, and we've got the train here, so now let's get that. Jump into that. Pull it back so that we can see the grain, the grain carriages. to go too fast because we need to whoa stop there okay jump out of that oops I'm completely the other side we'll jump into this to go and get that pushed forward over the Well, I thought I was further over than I was, but it's not too much of a problem. Make sure that's over there. Yep, that should do it. Jump out of that. And we'll jump into the stire. Now we'll have some fun reversing onto the... I wonder if this does side tips, tip side back, yep, I believe it is tip side back. And take some careful aim, try and get over the activation point. Or the auger should be on, I think. There we go. Oats and oats loading onto the train. Brilliant. I don't recall another map where we could load straight onto the train from the farm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the in the comments. There might well be. was the other product that we were going to sell now I think it was sorghum wasn't it yeah sorghum is a good crop good price good price at Somerset so let's go and load up some sorghum we just have to remember we have to pull the train forward we can't put it into the same 
grain trailer, of course. It's of course if we do have sorghum. Hopefully we do. Oats, canola, sorghum. Oh yeah, we've got at least we've got plenty of sorghum here. Get that all loaded up. And we've still got probably another 20,000 to come in. Very good of the train company to allow us to drive their train, of course. <laughs> Never thought of that before. <coughs> Jump out of there and we will go and move the train forward. too Side again. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. Sorghum into there. Nice. Looks good. We've got another load that we can put in there as well, so that's grand as they say fantastic let's get the other load out get that done Another 19,000. So we will have to hire two trains, of course. So I think the train hire is uh, $100. So not too bad. But it's probably a bit more expensive than it would have been if we had. Then we wouldn't have been able to deliver to... Um, Where were we delivering to? I've forgotten now. Huh? 
Somerset. <laughs> uh, dear. The other way is uh, Silver Run, of course. So we will do a run, a long run up to Silver Run. Just to show you the train going up that way as well. Which is kind of going back from where we are here now. But I thought I'd first of all show you the transfer station. How that transfers over between this train and the other train. Which is another nice new dimension to this map. As I say, it's another thing I can't, I can't recall another map that has two train lines on it. But once again, I might be mistaken. I might just not have played it. Still in awe of the whole ability to be able to load on the farm. I love it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Just adds to the flavour of this map. Right, let's just park this up for now. We'll see this a couple more times when we load up the train to go up to Silver Run. So it's going to hop on the train and we'll take a drive on down to the transfer station. Um, it's a very restricted view on the inside, so we'll just ride up nice and high at the back and have a look at the countryside, take a nice little slow drive down to the the map up so we can see where we're going. So there we are, we were heading down towards the town area. Under the bridge. And we can offload directly into the stone mill there if we had stone on board. So let's slow down because and this is our stop over here now. So let's uh, Slow it down. So we need to get onto uh, the second one, two. So the top right hand corner there, you need to get onto the second carriage to offload it. And that'll be the oats offloading, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. We'll offload oats into the transfer station. Offloads nice and quickly. And then we'll change it onto... We'll go the other way around. And we'll move that insert forward nice and slowly until we get into the there we go, the sorghum can be offloaded oops stop there, sorghum so we'll offload the sorghum That's it done. We'll leave the train there for now so we can 
we don't have to hire it again and we'll go back to the farm with that uh, which side is we wheel on the side there yeah so that's been offloaded into there and now if we go across here we should be able to pick up the train here for the second train line Yep, so we have orders, just making sure. So obviously it goes over there from there, goes into the main station here. And we should be able to load our train about here. And then it's not very far to Somerset down that way, but we'll go through the long run will go straight up there pretty much a straight train line as the other one was nice and sort of curvy and bendy this one is just as straight as an arrow pretty much so I wonder if this is showing that we have a stock in there let's just go and have a look around the front quickly Nice little touch ladder on the side of the building there. Are we able to see? What we have in that silo so let's have a look okay, so it doesn't say which silo it's in but it's still showing in our so the sorghum and the oats are still showing in our inventory in our storage but it's not showing exactly where it's stored it's just interesting to see whether it would actually show up as being in the silo or whether it shows up as being in this silo and it actually let's have a quick look no that also doesn't show up down on the left hand side so this train's taking a long time to get to us One point six kilometers away, so yeah, taking it taking its time to get to us. Nothing we can do about that. Yes. Right, so let's jump onto that. And give us a bit of space to see things we go pull forward slowly oops we could need we need to be on the right carriage as well so what two carriage two Start filling. Sorghum. So that's sorghum done. train forward a little bit further oh, we need 
to get. I don't do. Here we go. Start filling. Oh, it's, we've got in there. Yes, start filling. Right, and now we just need to head off to to Somerset. Going through a couple of other places that we could possibly offload. when it's probably a loading station go through past um, Miller Sawmill the service station I think this is a grain mill it's probably all float here as well no, we couldn't offload any of the product that we had there well, I didn't see anything come up. Might have been just going too fast. Nice little straight drive through the countryside. Should be coming up quite soon on the South Farm, where we could offload into the southern silos. But we won't do that. Just get this delivered. Get some money in from Somerset. So there's the South Farm on our right hand side. There's the corn dryer through there, and we should very soon be going into. Somerset to get sold. We did see the little flash coming up there, we, we could have offloaded. And that should just head off into the distance and get sold. Yes. We got 120,000 for. It only cost us $13 for. The time that we utilized the train there. Right, let's get back into the other train and we'll head on back up to the farm and we'll go and make some deliveries to Silver Run. for the farm. You can just see our gone too far. I think we should be just about right. Yeah, we should be just about right there. So let's see what we can sell to Silverun. So we can sell wheat. To, no, we don't have wheat. We can sell barley to Silverun and we can sell canola to Silverun. Canola, canola. We've got fifty-two thousand liters, fifty-six thousand over a hundred. Silver run, decent price. 
silver and yep, decent price. So what is it? Barley and canola we'll load up here. And we'll take a trip up to Silverin. That will pretty much be the train station taken care of. Well, the trains taken care of. Had a look there. Had a look at. That's probably also will be where we're going to end this part three. So start filling barley. I'll do the loading on a bit of a time lapse because we did talk our way through that the last time so there's going to be two loads of each going in. See you when it's done. you back with me and we got the last load of canola to go in and then we've pretty much got all our all the product that we want to sell out of the way or loaded should I say we've got another two rail rail railroad trucks loaded with canola and and what is the other one? Sorghum, I think. And we can go and get this delivered to Silverun, so we'll take a we'll reverse the train all the way back up to Silverun, so you can see the the top half of the of the train line, and. Let's jump out there. We'll leave that there for now. Back in the train. And off we go. Yeah, so we've got barley. That was the other crop. We've got barley and canola. Just over 50,000 of each, 50,000 litres of each being delivered to Silver run. Train going at a reasonable pace. This is the north part. Going through the forest. I think fairly soon we're going to go past the little loading station for the forestry area. We're around about there somewhere, I'm not sure. No, I think it was uh, coming up now, I think. Should have put the map on, but... Yeah, there it is there. And we should be heading off to Silver Run fairly soon. go and that was 154,000 less than a day that we had the train so yeah fantastic all done ok 
Can we summons? Looks like we can summons the train right to the beginning of. Oh no, this is going back to the. We are facing back down the train line. There we go. And we finished the harvesting on field six. We got that. So all the deliveries are made. Let's just head over and see if we've got any product that has been reduced here. Any bread? Don't think so. No, we haven't been playing long enough. So that's pretty much it for this map. Brilliant, brilliant map. It's taken us three episodes to get through everything. Do hope you've enjoyed this slightly shorter version. And that you've uh, enjoyed particularly this episode where we've been doing the train. So there's been a couple more pallets of flour produced. I think we did bring some did we bring some grain down? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's just a blur. And we'll head on back to the farm. Yeah, so as I said, I think that's where we're going to finish this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it and found this informative. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!